Hello everyone and thank you for joining us. We are excited to bring you this overview on ETAP 22. So let's go ahead and get started. ETAP 22 also allows you to conform to grid codes and maintain compliance from design to operations to performance. The variable nature of renewable energy introduces many power quality concerns including frequency and voltage control that may negatively impact the reliable performance of a power system. Grid codes, interconnection, or evacuation criteria must be followed during the proposed system design and continue to maintain compliance under the grid connected operation. The ETAB grid code solution is used for the design, analysis, protection, optimization, operation, and maintenance of renewable energy systems. The ETAB grid code in ETAB 22 utilizes a model-driven electrical digital twin with automated analysis, predictive calculations, network optimization, validation processes, and intelligent, secure hybrid power plant control to ensure local grid code or standard compliances are maintained throughout the power system design as well as operations lifecycle. In ETAP 22, you can automate the grid code assessment, including the real and reactive power capability evaluation. You can also perform harmonic distortion evaluation, transient voltage write through, and consider capability curves for wind turbine generators and inverters. So let's see our automated grid code compliance in action. We can use our grid code analyzer within this particular electrical system that has PVs, energy storage, statcom, and wind turbines to essentially determine which devices are being monitored and controlled and of course based on our grid code analyzer we can also define specifics of the capability curve in this PQ and VQ capability in terms of the minimum sweep and the maximum sweep of voltage as well as uh, power within the particular uh, simulation. Once the simulation is completed we can essentially look at the grid code analysis report and look at the chart for PQ capability at 95% voltage and we can see that the reference PQ curve is overstepping the uh, PQ capability that's computed for this particular facility. So this region where there is intersection or, uh, or overlap is where we have non-compliance. Similarly, we can see the same PQ capability at 100% voltage as well as 105% voltage and the VQ capability at 100% active power. And again, we can see that there is a non-compliance region in the bottom right corner. This is without a STATCOM in place. And of course, the same simulation can be repeated with a STATCOM and we can see the change in results shortly. With the STATCOM included, we can see that at 95% voltage, the STATCOM is able to bring the non-compliance region back into compliance. So the reference chart is essentially within the PQ capability of this particular site. Same thing at 100% voltage, at 105% voltage, and finally at a power fact, active power of 15% and an active power of 100%. We essentially can see that there is complete compliance using a STATCOM within the system. So the grid code assessment lets you automate these sweeps of voltage and real power and determine whether you are within compliance within the given PQ capability limits as well as low voltage and high voltage write through limits provided by the grid at the point of connection. With grid code analysis and the automated assessment, it's the most important tool that you need in your toolbox in order for you to perform any grid interconnection studies from a steady state, transient and harmonics perspective. ETAP 22 has thousands of new enhancements, features, and capabilities. Thank you.